Morning, Sunny Hill. Morning. It's Friday. Friday. <laughs> end of the working week. End of the working and week. And we're at the end of Acts. We're on Acts 28. Um, and this, this really encouraged us, this chapter. Um, we just thought it was great. It seemed like God was just revealing his blessings through Paul, mm. um, through his ministry, through miracles and um, other wonders that um, God was just doing through Paul himself. Yeah, Paul gets to the end of this almost epic journey and mm. it says, and so we came to Rome. And then this is beautiful, this um, verse 15. The brothers and sisters there had heard that we were coming mm. and they travelled as far as the Forum of Appius and the Three Taverns to meet us. At the sight of these people, Paul thanked God and was encouraged. Mm. And it's incredible, isn't it? Paul is encouraged. Mm. We think of Paul as this almost saintly man, uh, totally doing what God wanted him to do, suffers for Jesus, uh, shipwrecked, does all these things, yet people come, his brothers and sisters, mm. those that love the Lord Jesus, come to him, and he's encouraged. Mm. And and my thought there was, do we do we encourage our leaders? Do we encourage our pastors? Do we encourage those, um, not an authority over us, but those that lead us, that those that look after us spiritually? Do we encourage them? Are they encouraged mm. with what we say? Or is it a case of, oh... I wish that person hadn't spoke to me like that. Or, or are we somebody that mm. uh, people like to feel that we encourage them, mm. that we push them on, that we, you know, um, uh, uh, make their faith stronger mm. by encouraging them in what we say mm. and what we do. Mm. Uh, it, it's just great, I think, mm. that Paul, this great man of God, was encouraged by the brothers and sisters that came to meet with him. Mm. One of the, the uh, spiritual gifts is the gift of encouragement. And mm. and really, we all ought to have that. Because uh, I was thinking, it doesn't have to be a massive thing to encourage somebody. It doesn't have to, you don't have to go out of your way too much to encourage somebody. Just a, 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 just a thought, a word, um, a smile, a hug. Uh, it just encourages people. Um, to let them know that we're praying for them. Is it really encouraging to know that somebody is not on their own walking through uh, a hard walk or a hard week that, that particular time, that people are praying for them, that people are thinking about them? Um, a little card, a little text message, just to sort of, just to say, you know, I'm thinking of you today, praying for you today think it does does mm. people good and we don't know what how people are what they're going through but a word of encouragement at particular times um does wonders and then then we get to this um in verse 23 paul arranged to meet some of the jews and on a certain day they mm. came in a large number of them to the place where he was staying he witnessed to them from morning till evening, explaining about the kingdom of God and from the law of Moses and from the prophets, he tried to persuade them about Jesus. Some were convinced by what he said, but others would not believe. They disagreed among themselves mm. and began to leave after Paul had made his final statement. Uh, as you can witness to people for as long as you like, for as hard as you like. Mm. And, and it wasn't Jesus that explained through the laws of Moses and explained about God to people. But not everybody believed. Not everybody took Jesus for what he said. Mm. Not everybody believed that Jesus was the Son of God. And it, it's quite sad that Paul witnessed all day to these people. Mm. And, and he must have really poured his heart out for them to know Jesus as Saviour. But they left sad. And it's like that rich young ruler mm. that comes. And when he leaves Jesus, Jesus tells him to sell everything and follow him, but he leaves sad. Uh, there are people that we, uh, it seems as though we can witness and witness mm. and witness, but doesn't mean to say that we should ever give up, mm. that we should ever stop praying mm. for people. Yeah. We should ever not stop encouraging them mm. to know the Lord Jesus mm. as their saviour. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and 
I was encouraged as well because the people of Malta, they <laughs> they showed generous hospitality to Paul. Mm. And because he was so welcomed there, God just poured out his blessing mm. upon that land, upon that island. And many people were healed miraculously. Um, many people came to know Jesus uh, again miraculously. Mm. Um, and it just shows that, you know, to, to, to welcome people in that that truly love god and truly love jesus into our lives um to welcome them in and um just god pours his blessing down upon us and we can be truly blessed because of that because that verse two this is just to finish the islanders showed us unusual kindness yeah. should we do that today yeah. should we show people unusual kindness yeah so that we can show jesus as yeah. we go about our day yeah. Okay. Be blessed today. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for listening. See you soon. Bye, bye now. Bye-bye.